The International Union of Operating Engineers IUOE, is a trade union within the United States based AFL CIO representing primarily construction workers who work as heavy equipment operators, mechanics, surveyors, and stationary engineers, also called operating engineers or power engineers, who maintain heating and other systems in buildings and industrial complexes, in the United States and Canada. Founded in 1896, it currently represents roughly 400,000 workers in approximately 170 local unions and operates nearly 100 apprenticeship programs. Topic: <laughs> Local 3. IUOE Local 3, based in Alameda, California, is the largest building and construction trades local in the U.S., with jurisdiction covering four states, California, Nevada, Hawaii and Utah. Most of Local 3's 42,600 members work as heavy equipment operators, and construction workers, but the local also represents public employees, such as maintenance workers and peace officers, technical engineers, surveyors and construction inspectors as well as building inspectors. Local 3 is headed by business manager Russ Burns. Topic. Local 4 IUOE Local 4, based in Medway, Massachusetts, has over 5,000 members in central and eastern Massachusetts including Boston, Massachusetts, eastern New Hampshire, and Maine. Topic. Local 14-14B IUOE Local 14-14B, based in Flushing, New York, represents approximately 1,600 members working in the five boroughs of New York City. Topic. Local 98 IUOE Local 98, based in East Longmeadow, Massachusetts, represents approximately 1,300 members in western Massachusetts, western New Hampshire, and Vermont. Topic. Local 115 British Columbia Over 11,000 members, dam builders, crane and heavy equipment operators, road builders, aerial firefighters and mechanics. Topic. Local 137 Local 137 represents the operating engineers in the counties of Westchester, Putnam and parts of Southern Duchess. The branch is headquartered in Briarcliff Manor, New York, in a former dairy processing building for Briarcliff Farms. Members of this branch are currently working on the largest infrastructure project in New York and one of the largest in the nation, the new Tappan Zee Bridge. Topic: <laughs> Local 139 Local 139, based in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, represents over 9,500 members in Wisconsin. They represent workers employed across over 2,400 contractors. Topic. Local 115 Local 115, based in Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada, represents over 10,000 skilled workers in construction, road building, transportation, mining, aviation and various industrial sectors throughout British Columbia and the Yukon. Local 115's business manager is Brian Cochran and its president is Wayne Mills. 
Local 115 runs a training institute that is accredited with private career training institutions and delivers programs in accordance with British Columbia's Industry Training Authority. Students learn how to operate many different pieces of heavy equipment in a real-life environment at its Maple Ridge Training Facility, a 41-acre site operated by the Training Association. This state-of-the-art facility also features a facility and heavy equipment inventory worth more than $3 million as well as computer simulation equipment. Courses are also offered in other centers around the region. Experienced and professional instructors provide courses in excavator, backhoe, dozer, grader, asphalt laydown, and aggregate, asphalt plant. Local 115 also provide all courses necessary for the BC Association of Crane Safety Ticketing Process. Topic. Temporary Foreign Worker Legal Challenge In 2013, IUOE Local 115, along with the BC Building Trades Union, had tried to overturn permits given to a Murray River coal mine near Tumbler Ridge, British Columbia to hire 201 Chinese temporary workers to work on a new mine owned by Chinese nationals. The unions claimed that the job ads were written to exclude Canadian workers, and instead chose to hire Chinese workers for lower wages rather than source or train local miners from the immediate area or the province. However, a federal court judge disagreed. Russell Zinn found that HD Mining, the owner of the coal mine, had fulfilled the requirements set out in a federally mandated labor market opinion LMO and dismissed the union's challenge. However, public and media attention on the case resulted in some changes being implemented into the Canadian Temporary Foreign Worker Program to ensure that foreign workers are not chosen over local resources, where available. Topic. Local 150 Local 150, based in Countryside, Illinois, is the second largest local in the international 23,000 plus members with jurisdiction in parts of three states, Illinois, Indiana and Iowa. Local 150's president and business manager is James. Jim. Sweeney. Local 150 represents the most traditional operating engineers hoisting and portable, heavy highway, building trade, quarry, landfill, and underground employees in the international. Local 150 has an advanced operating engineers hoisting and portable apprenticeship program. Topic. Local 501 Southern California, Southern Nevada Local 501 was formed in 1953 by the merger of several regional locals and has offices in Los Angeles and Las Vegas. The business manager is Edward J. Curley. Members perform maintenance and repair of all HVAC equipment, boiler operation, lighting, plumbing, welding, painting, carpentry, or in general, all trade-related maintenance and repair. Topic. Local 870 Saskatchewan Topic local 825 Local 825 covers New Jersey and the lower counties Rockland, Orange, Ulster, Sullivan and Delaware of New York State. The local 825 business manager is Greg Lalavie. The local 825 training center is located adjacent to the NJ Turnpike. Topic. Local 793 Represents crane and heavy equipment operators in Ontario's construction industry. Topic. Local 721 
Nova Scotia equals equals local 902 PEI equals equals topic local 904 represents a membership of approximately 2200 people in Newfoundland and Labrador topic Local 905 Quebec Topic <laughs> Local 946 New Brunswick Topic <laughs> <laughs> Local 987 Manitoba equals equals local 955 Alberta 